Kviečiame kuniką Andriu Morkūną sukalbėti valdą. Pelskimis. Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather together to celebrate our victory over the oppression in our land and in our souls, we ask you to give us strength to fight against the evil that would take your gift of freedom from us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Labą dieną. Gerai matyti pilną salę. Ačiū labai. Tai šiandien mes susirinkom paminėti jau šimtas šešis metus blokada Lietuvos pasidarė vėl ant abasado žemėlaukio. Vasario šešiolita 1918 metas. Aš esu mano gana gerai jau prieš 34 metus, kada Lietuva vėl buvo įsikišusius į nepriklausomybės karą ir ten galvojo tuo laiku, kad jei Lietuva galėtų išlikti laisvoj dėl tris penkis metus, tai beveik garantuota, kad Lietuva taip ir išliks. Ir jeigu visą generaciją galėtų išlikti, tai jokių būdų neprarastų. Nes ar ne netarlu, kad šaliais turėtų būtų laisvos ir nepriklausomos. Ir aš ne vienas tai galvojau. Nes buvo gana daug knygų, straipsnių, parašyta, kad jie viskas jau pasikeitė. Istorija, kaip mes žinom, yra pabaita. Žmogus įžengė į naują epoką. Tai, jei žiūrė aplinkui, kas darosi paskutiniais du metais, aišku, ir ribė ir kitokia. Mūsų prelegentas šiandien, papaskos, kas darosi į Ukrainiją, kur yra žiaurius, nepriklausomybės karas, kur žūsta tūkstačiai. Tai šiandien, aš žinau, kas tikrai vėlėdė yra, kur buvo išreiškta Thomas Jefferson prieš 200 metų, kad laisvės kaina ir amžinas būtų duromas. Arba angliškai, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. So, good afternoon and welcome to this 106th commemoration of Lithuanian independence. I'd like to thank our special guest, Councilman Michael Polensik, We'll be speaking a little bit later. Our Ukrainian guest, um, Andy Fedinsky and his wife, uh, Chris, um, Lithuanian Honorary Council and Gerida Bublins. And um, thank you all very much for participating. Um, I remember the events 34 years ago when Lithuania was once again in a war of independence. And I was thinking, if only Lithuania could be free for maybe three, five years, then it would be almost guaranteed that it would remain so. And then, if it could remain independence for a whole generation, then there is no way that it could lose independence. Because isn't it natural for countries to be free and independent? It's sort of like water flowing down. <coughs> and I was not alone in my thinking. There were many books, articles written, stating that everything has changed. History as we know it has, has ended. Mankind has entered a new era. But as we look around, what has happened and transpired in the last two years, it's obvious that reality is different. So our guest speaker today will elaborate what's happened today in Ukraine, where there's a vicious war of independence going on where thousands have died. Today, I understand that the real reality is what Thomas Jefferson said over 200 years ago, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. The body feature, that was the Spokos Garbais Consular, in Great Bublin, and Tartus Vaitin. Councilman Polensik, our guest speaker, Andy Fedinsky, Satsis, and Broly Lietuvai. Shindian Tikrai Galime Dijuatis, Kat Lietuva. Grįžkiai matosi pasaulio žemėlapį, kad esame pasaulio bendruomenės nariai ir šiandieną kuriame modernę, energingą Lietuvą. 
Tačiau šių šventės proga linkiu, kad mes visada būtumėm kūrėjai laisvės. Ir šiandieną mūsų valstybėj mes esame visi reikalinki su pasarių šešioliktos dienos šventė. Garso. Ačiū. Dabar norėčiau pakviesti konsumen Pona Michael Polinskė. Good afternoon, Labas. Um, it is my pleasure to be here. And um, when I'm on my way always to this event, and I've only missed one of, of these events in 40 plus years, um, I'm reminded of all the people that, thank you, thank you. And I know if I said so many times, I've been adopted by the Lithuanian community a long time ago. So I've, it's always been my honor and pleasure to be here uh, for these events. I'm always reminded when I'm on my way here of the people that are no longer with us, that helped put this together, that helped keep this historic day, the, the independence alive. I think of people like Joe Stempuzis, uh, uh, Roma's uh, Ingrid's husband, and I want to say to the Honorary Council General to uh, what a loss it was for Roma's. I think of Father Kajowskis. I think of all the people that I had interacted with over the years and, you know, I, um, I thought, like many people, that the, the Soviet Union uh, would disappear, would somehow disappear in the brutality and what we experienced. And I can remember as a young man uh, hearing from Mrs. Samatowskis, who lived next door to my late mother-in-law, who was one of her best friends. And when I was 15 and 16 years old, I would hear those stories of what her family went through in Lithuania. It helped shape, shape me how I thought about different things. I never lived under communism, but I've heard from so many of you who have, who experienced the brutality, the evil, um, what they went through. So today, um, in 2024, um, we have to worry more than ever before what's happening in this world. And I want to say this to each and every one of you. Um, I find as a public official, as a senior member at Cleveland City Council, uh, when somebody has a problem in front of their home, uh, whatever it may be, they call their councilman. I get those calls and those emails all the time. But I would urge every one of you in this room to write your United States senators, your congressmen, and urge them, urge them to stand up to communism, to stand up to Putin, that butcher, that killer. We see what our, our Ukrainian brothers and sisters are going through. We see how he kills his political opposition. My grandmother told me every night before I went to bed to pray for the conversion of Russia, Red China, Cuba, North Korea. I still do that. I still do that because I see the evil that is upon us. So in 2024, it's my honor to be here to present this official um, presentation from the city of Cleveland to the Lithuanian community on this historic day on the Lithuanian American community. But I also want to say this, I want to urge everybody in this room to please, please support this facility, the Lithuanian Center here, community center, and to support St. Casimir. Uh, my, one of my Lithuanian girlfriends, Ruta, where is she? She, I can't tell you what she does to keep this hall afloat, this facility afloat. If there's ever a time in our city's history, in our community, we need to support our ethnic groups that's now. We need to support the Lithuanian community. We need to support this hall. We need to support St. Casper and all the other institutions because to celebrate this event to me is very important. So I'm not going to read it all. I just, I'm going to present it to the officials of the Lithuanian community, but I want to say again, how honored and proud I am to be here once again. Please, let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard. We need to support Ukraine. And I, I don't understand it. Why that there's this mentality that we have to, what happened to the Reagan doctrine, standing up to communism? We have got to stand with the Ukrainian community because if not, Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia, and Poland is next. We all know that. Thank you, God bless all of you.